Hey everyone, Sean here, Priscilla, and uh, today is a, I guess it's a horn intro slash horn for sale, um, and it's uh, one that I've had a couple of months, I'm surprised I still have it, probably because I haven't really promoted it that much, but um, it's a much overlooked Martin Indiana B flat trumpet. It's not the Indiana Band Instrument Company one. It's not the one with the uh, Chieftain, uh, Indian Chieftain on the logo, which was from the 60s. Um, and when I say that, I mean like kind of the stamped logo. There was two versions of the logo. Um, this is the 40s to 50s one and was um, around the same time as the famous Martin Committees. Um, so you basically had this model, then the Martin Imperial, and then the Martin Committees. Uh, and obviously the Deluxe Committees. Um, so it was marketed for you know, marching bands, band programs, um, and that kind of playing. Um, as such, it's a fairly basic instrument and uses a lot of um, parts that were available much, much earlier, like decade, basically in the 30s. Um, so when we're talking about that, these braces, you'll find on Martin Handcraft Standards. And the trim kit, you'll find on Martin Handcraft Standards slash um, Martin Handcraft Imperials. The uh, finger hook didn't change at all. It's just a raw brass version of the um, the handcraft uh, standards. And in fact, on the Indiana Band Instrument companies, all they did was take off the little bit at the bottom and just use this part. Um, little side note. Um, everything's pretty much the same. They used a uh, very similar valve block. Um, slightly different in the casing, but that's all. Um, the finger buttons are uh, unique to this particular one. It has little grooves on it. Um, you only find that on, on particular models of um, Indiana's. The mouthpiece receiver was from, again, um, an earlier. Um, this mouthpiece receiver, I think, first came uh, around in the Handcraft Imperial stage. It was used in the Handcraft Standards. Um, so uh, these braces, uh, uh, standard braces, they use across all the horns. Um, and the connector, even the bell connector, is a, it's the same as a lot of uh, different uh, models within the Martin range. It has a two-piece bell. You can see the seam right here. Um, the flare you know, still has kind of like this this slow slow taper on here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was on, built on the same mandrel as some of the other um, models. Um, but obviously the bend is in a different spot. Um, the committees are pushed a little bit more forward. Um, this one's you know, in a more traditional uh, set. Sorry, the committees are pushed more back. This one is a more forward in a traditional setup. Um, the bore is consistent um, and it features basically a standard uh, trumpet lead pipe um, with your standard uh, tuning setup. So it's not a reverse tuning slide or anything like that. Um, but um, Speaking about today and, and what this might represent for somebody today if they were interested in purchasing um, some, one of these instruments, um, they're still a great option for the casual player, um, for a soloist, uh, jazz, uh, maybe a young player um, who's just getting introduced. I know it doesn't have the kick out slide, but it's built longer to compensate. So it's, st it's not perfect because um, there's other things you have to give up um, in, in a balance. Um, so it does play still a little bit sharp, um, to be honest, to be frankly honest, but um, it does uh, play a lot more in tune uh, on other notes. So there you have it, there's a bit of compromise. Um, yeah, so this represents a good uh, kind of combo horn, uh, soloist horn, um, casual player, uh, someone who really uh, wants the Martin kind of signature tone um, but doesn't have the money to spend, you know, hundred, you know, thousands basically to get the committees or, or one of the other rare horns. Um, it's a really good introduction. And if you're recording, uh, sometimes you might not notice the difference. So hopefully that will reflect in, um, what I'm about to demo for you. Um, I think they rep represent excellent value to, uh, um, someone who's just introducing themselves to this kind of, you know, idiom, uh, and sound char characteristic. So enough of me uh, talking, or oh, I should, actually I should talk a little bit about um, the condition on this horn. This horn was uh, pretty much stock original, um, had its, has its original lacquer, etc. Um, you'll see here on these sections here, um, it's missing the lacquer. 
That's because um, this horn has been uh, gone over and tweaked uh, by Kevin Powers, um, and he has uh, re-soldered those braces. Um, and what he's done is released some of the tension in there, and that's really opened, uh, made the sound, the horn sound a lot better. Um, and he's also um, had to re-solder the bell uh, connector here um, when he was doing this. So basically, the bell's been off, uh, anything's been knocked out of it, and it's been put back on um, by a professional horn technician uh, and a custom horn maker. Um, it's the same with the brace on here. So the whole bell has come off. Um, there was a, a kink, I think, on the back here that's been... In fact, it doesn't look like there's even a kink there. Um, but the bell's come off, it's been resoldered back on, so there's some lacquer missing on those points. The benefit of that uh, is it plays much, much nicer than it originally did. So, um, valve action on this is really good. A little bit rattly. Um, you get that with these kind of instruments. You know, I've had ones where the third valve sticks a lot because this casing flexes a little bit. Uh, this one's in great condition. There's nothing wrong with it. All the slides pop. Um, I pull out. Great compression on these. You can hear that. So. Oh, now I gotta get it back in. Yeah, so it's a really uh, good uh, instrument in great playing condition. Um, so let me uh, at least demo a couple of uh, tracks here. So I'll put on the instrument mic. And now because I've been talking for so long, it's probably gone cold and it's probably be sharp, but we'll give it a shot. this kind of thing uh, let's try some of that got uh, all the Ave Maria uh, up on the stand here let's hope I do it justice
yeah, so there's, uh, you know, excuse the flub notes and the uh, E flat I missed there again. Um, but there's just a demo of, you know, uh, what you could possibly do um, in a, you know, kind of like church solo setting. Uh, it'll definitely work for that. Uh, kind of a jazzy. Of stuff on there it's a pretty fun horn to play um, as I say uh, it's the entry level into the Martin range um, it does have that kind of distinctive tone uh, it's not quite as slippery as the um, Martin committee um, there are certain notes that uh, are not fantastic uh, I think you might have heard a couple of uh, you know slightly out of tune that's just me getting used to the horn um, you know flub notes aside it's uh, yeah it's a, it's a great um, opportunity for, for someone to pick up a Martin at a pretty reasonable price. Um, and, um, you know, when I sell instruments and things, uh, reputation is everything um, for me. So I'm not interested in making a couple of bucks just to sell a horn. Um, I, I would sell this uh, only to somebody who I think understands what, it, what it's all about. Um, and it's an excellent instrument. I've sold these to some of the younger guys and they, they bought these first. And then when they found their uh, their committee a couple of years later, so they started on these and they kind of graduated up towards uh, a committee or they went to the Martin Imperial um, dual reverse tuning slide uh, setup. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little horn intro. Martin Indiana B flat trumpet. Uh, if, you, if you find these, you know, they're a good little pickup if you can get them at the right price. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, happy to answer them. A lot of people have started to reach out, which is cool. That's exactly the point of having this channel, is to start some dialogue and to uh, create some interest in these old vintage instruments and uh, start the process of, uh, you know, breaking these back out of the cupboards and the attics and things and really get playing on these. So, until next time, I'm signing off.